Hi everyone, uh, so this is my first bullet journaling YouTube video. I've been bullet journaling for a little over a year now. I started doing it um, as a way to actually uh, track my exercise and keep an exercise journal for a class that I took when I was still in school. Um, but even though I've uh, been a college graduate for a little over a year now, which is very scary, um, I've stayed uh, I've kept up with bullet journaling and I've really enjoyed it. It really relaxes me and it has, it's a creative outlet for me, honestly. Um, so for this, this month I decided to, uh, base my theme off of Suki from the, uh, who's a character from Avatar The Last Airbender, um, which is, I think, which is probably one of my favorite animated shows, if not one of my favorite shows. Isn't it everyone's favorite show, at the very least? <laughs> um, and although I've seen a lot of different uh, inspirations for spreads that include, you know, maybe the other members of Team Avatar, Aang himself, the specific nations, I haven't really seen anything focused specifically on Suki, and she's my favorite character, well, aside from Zuko, I guess, but I think I'm pretty sure Zuko is everyone's favorite character, regardless. Um, just automatically, best freaking redemption arc ever, honestly, in animated history, in TV history, Nickelodeon history, ever. He's just, yeah. <laughs> um, but Suki is my favorite character, aside from everyone's favorite character, which is Zuko. Um, and I wanted to show my girl some respect. She she deserves it. There's, you know, beautiful fan art out there of her, but I wanted to really dedicate my bullet journal spread to her. Um, her, you know, little her whole philosophy. She's, you know, she's like, I may be a warrior, but I'm still a girl. Um, and just her, you know, relationship with Sokka is really precious to me. Um, he's obviously, you know, starts off with the very uh, misogynistic... <laughs> ideals, um, but he grows and he learns. They fall in love. It's great. Um, and I also do want to point out uh, pretty clearly I am not a professional artist in any capacity. I've never studied art or I haven't studied art or taken any art classes since high school when I was a senior. That was five years ago now. Jesus. Uh, that I feel really old, but it's it's been a while. But um, I do like drawing cartoons. I've always liked drawing cartoons. Um, and like I said, this was relaxing for me, and I really love the art style from Avatar: The Last Airbender. I think it's so fun. The colors that they were that are used and how they're incorporated uh, into each character's costume based on their bending abilities or uh, where they're from. Is really gorgeous and specifically so I was inspired by Suki obviously but I was also very much inspired by uh, the Kyoshi Warriors and Avatar Kyoshi uh, specifically their makeup I ugh, it's gorgeous I love it and although I'm not quite brave enough to attempt uh, full-on cosplay of uh, you know any of the Kyoshi Warriors or anything um, uh, or even just the makeup, uh, I did really want to make that um, a heavy theme throughout my spread for July. Uh, so you can see here I'm making my cover page um, just uh, specifically because it's my bullet journal. I know that it's Suki, but um, if you wanted to try this out yourself, it could be any of the Kyoshi Warriors. It could be Avatar Kyoshi. You could do anything you want. I'm not in charge of your life, but that is how I decided to proceed with the mine. Um, initially I wasn't going to uh, draw or shade in, I guess, the space that where her hat would be, but then I decided, well, her face is painted white, so it would not make sense to have the area above her head also be white. I don't know. Pretty clearly this is not scripted. And I have never done this before, so we're just gonna go with it. <laughs> I was also, for this style of video, was really inspired by Lynn Trong. Um, if you haven't seen her Instagram posts or her Etsy shop or her YouTube videos, 
please go check her out. She's amazing. She is 18 years old, and um, I want to be her when I grow up. I'm older than her. I'm 23, and I want to be her when I grow up. Uh, I was also inspired by uh, some of my favorite bullet journaling channels. Um, of course, Amanda Rush Lee, uh, Jenny Journals. She does a lot of uh, beautiful landscape work with uh, different paints, um, which I'm not using here, but I have in the past. And um, a plant-based bride, I think, is also a really wonderful uh, bullet journaling YouTuber. And uh, what she does that I love is she also sets up her husband's bullet journal spreads for each month. And whilst I adore the spreads that she creates for herself, um, her husband's are always lean a little bit more nerdy or a little bit more, um, I don't know, they're, I, I don't know how else to describe it, but she's, uh, she's done, I don't know, she did a Buddy Holly theme, she did a Yellow Submarine theme and things like that, which I just really, really loved. So definitely check her out. She's wonderful. And if you have any recommendations for other uh, channels that I should watch, please comment them down below. Um, I'm always looking to expand my repertoire of uh, channels that I watch, channels in general. Specifically, this is pretty artsy in focus. Um, but, you know, always good to expand your, your creative palette, I guess. Um, and like I said, I'm not a professional artist. I have no artistic certifications or anything. I just, I just like art and specifically cartoons. I love uh, comics and always have for a while. I really like, an I started watching anime originally because of the art style, because um, I'm a total freaking weeb, <laughs> I guess. Well, maybe not, but um, I love superheroes because of the art style, or initially because of the art style. Here you can also just see, um, I'd already made the general layout for my calendar setup, and I use this to track my exercise every month, and, you know, you can just use it as a normal calendar if you decide to base yours off of this spread. But what I found works really well for me uh, is I draw out the calendar and then I make a, or I decide on a shape or, you know, a little symbol that I'll color in on each day that I exercise. And the more I exercise, the prettier the calendar looks by the end of the month. It's great. And so because the Kyoshi Warriors use fans as part of their combat skills, um, or in their combat, I should say, I decided to use that. Um, it's a little bit of motivation, you know, clearly I will never have that level of skill uh, with a fan or otherwise um, when it comes to physical activity, but I did think it would be a nice little nod uh, to their fighting style. And I also, I have to throw it out there, I love how they're all women, just badass women specifically, you know, just watch, watching that as a kid, such, you know, wonderful role models for women. I, I really love my Earth Kingdom ladies in the series. Um, Toph is also one of my favorites because obviously. Um, but that's it for this video. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching.